had a guilty verdict on all counts. That's what a jury returned today in the trial. The alleged MS-13 gang associate nicknamed Little Devil, Lena Escobar. She was convicted of luring four teens to their deaths in a horrific gang killing in a central Islip Park. News 12's reporter, uh, crime reporter Krista McNally was in court when the verdict came in. Exactly five years after four young men were brutally murdered by a group of MS-13 gang members, Linez Escobar was found guilty on all counts for her involvement in their deaths. We're disappointed. The five women and seven men on the jury unanimously finding Escobar guilty of racketeering, including predicate acts of murder, conspiracy to murder rival gang and obstruction of justice, and murder in aid of racketeering. Escobar showed no emotion as she learned her fate. She is... Um... I would have to say stoic. Escobar, also known as Diablita or Little Devil, was accused of luring four young men to their deaths on April 11th in 2017. She, along with Kaylee Gomez, were allegedly the bait to bring Justin Levacura, Jefferson Villalobos, Michael Lopez Benega, and George Tigre into the woods. Those five young men in the prime of their lives had no idea that Escobar was leading them to their death into a killing field where MS-13 gang members lay in wait armed with machetes and axe, knives, tree limbs, and a chisel. One boy, Alexander Ruiz, got away as he ran for his life in this central Islip Park. The prosecution argued Escobar was an associate of the gang, looking to earn trust and respect. The defense said she was not in the gang and did not help plan the murders. Phone conversations between Escobar and her high-ranking MS-13 member boyfriend, Jeffrey Amador, were played in court. So it was so legal. No, I did it myself. Como te estoy diciendo, I did it myself. So ahora me toca a mí. In those calls, Escobar also told her boyfriend she was really happy she brought them there. Um, yeah, yo vine, yeah, yo hice todo. I brought them here. Escobar is facing up to life in prison. Her sentencing is set for September 14th. Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island.